Hello folks, Jared here and welcome back. Today's single lesson today we're gonna go ahead and do some things. So I'm currently in my uh, kind of OP for the village life to the Celica and um, well as I said in my uh, video tuning this car, you can death launch this car so it's uh, it's, it's it's basically like uh, it gives you a huge, a huge advantage. Or, you know, we're probably gonna be only running against other four-wheel drive cars, so it's gonna be around even, but basically, uh, the release for this car, it doesn't matter. Basically, you just release on uh, late second light, and all your shifts are at 7,000 RPM. There you go. Like... Okay. I mean, you can aim for perfect shifts, but it doesn't matter too much. As long as you cross uh, below 12 seconds, you have achieved a pretty respectable time. So there you go. It was um, good enough. So we're gonna go ahead, hop into a lobby and see if there's any pink slip goodness going on or something. Which there might be. I mean, obviously there's a shitload of lobbies, so there's not a whole lot of people in here most of the time. Especially not this time of day, but... Uh, who knows, let's see, or are the lobbies that, oh great, okay, you can just see an Alex say directly there, but uh, we're obviously looking for players, yeah, and it would be pretty cool if the lobbies were not completely fucking bad, so, we're gonna see about that. Okay, it seems like you have actually found a working lobby here, uh, so we're gonna go ahead, raise the pink slip icon up, and see if anyone actually is willing to race us, which I'm not, you know, totally sure about, but I guess we'll see. Um, didn't take too many refreshes all the enough, so I guess that's good. So we have a Neon here, a Scion XB, and a Mazda 6. Now the Mazda 6 I know is really good for tuning, uh, it seems like he's no betting preference not available for some reason. I believe that that's because like he didn't complete the campaign yet, that, that's why the uh, no bets thing is up. But uh, yeah, new challenger, let's see who it is. Is it, um, okay, it's a Neon, sure. Let's go ahead, raise the pinks, and see if he wants the pinks up. I do have the pinks slip icon up, so there you go, we got some pinks. That was surprisingly easy, actually. Holy shit, that's a high level. Decent reaction time. Okay. Oof, do we actually have this? We might, actually... <laughs> Okay, um, like I said, 4 wheel drive is OP. Holy fuck. Bam. Okay. Okay, the Neon is C-Class now. Okay, that's good to know. Um, that's, that's a glitch with the car. Like, why is it fucking floating above the garage? Oh, well. Um, that was surprisingly easy. Okay, so we got a Neon. Which I am happy about. Um, there's also a sign here, which I'm not sure. Like, maybe if he's not gonna be busy, he might be willing to pink slip us. I guess we'll see about that. Those rims are pretty fucking hideous, though. I uh, never really like that design a whole lot. It just kind of looks... Uh, hideous. Okay, there's actually a uh, Bright Team Impreza joining. Let's go ahead and uh, not challenge him because he's busy. Let's wait for a few uh, for a few seconds and then see. And this thing seems to... Well, it's definitely not stock. You can clearly see that because uh, he uh, his car is lowered, which is fairly noticeable. So that means that, you know, he has the suspension upgraded, which... Um, I'm not sure if that gives you a huge advantage, but there is a sign XB here. Um, Let's see what he wants to do. He might just check it out and, I mean... Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and pink slip the Brighton Impreza then. Which is actually a car that's evenly matched. And there's a thing joining, what's that? Oh yeah, that's another Brighton Impreza. Fair enough. Guess we can as well raise this dude then. Like, obviously. His Brighton, his Brighton thing is, you know, nicer obviously. Has some legacy stuff on it. You see a shitload of impressors with... Actually, those are not uh, the legacy rims on it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, have another pink slip. This is surprisingly uh, easy so far. Got two fucking pinks, which I'm probably gonna lose this one, but you know. Okay, his car flies ahead. 
that's another thing about 7.0 like the replays are actually super accurate and uh, we are actually losing this one holy fuck that brighten is quick <laughs> holy fuck okay so we do manage to lose a pink slip there and actually it would be um, if I got a perfect run that would be uh, pretty good but I didn't so rest in peace and that was the card that I was gonna use for the tuner challenge so uh, rest in peace me but there you go um, it was uh, surprisingly easy to get some pinks, so that's pretty cool. It seems like the four-wheel drive cars are currently the way to go. Do we even have a, another four-wheel drive car here? I mean, the Eclipse, for some reason, is um, front-wheel drive, I believe, which is fucking stupid, if you ask me. Um, I believe so, anyway, yeah. Like, they, they kind, of, kind of need to fix that. That's, that's a pretty big fuck-up. Uh, but it seems like other than that, I don't have any four-wheel drive cars, so I don't. Be, I basically don't even fucking stand a chance here, so I'm not gonna bother. But uh, thank you guys for watching. My name's Jerry, and I'll see you in the next episode. And um, yeah, that's about it. Goodbye.